What up everybody, Taco Zombie here, and I am your host for Let's Talk About It. Here with me is Raul. What's up guys? My co-host. How you doing man? Doing pretty good? Yeah, pretty good man. How's, just... it? How's the throat healing coming along? <clears throat> yeah, I'm still a little scratchy, especially when it's cold. Is when I start getting that scratchy throat, like oh, I was fine at the party you seen, at the family party, but... Yeah. Once we got up here, like, I started getting, like, a little cough, and then my throat got really sore. And then, like, cold sometimes, like, when it gets cold. Yeah, oh, like, yeah, that would definitely up. do it. Yeah. <clears throat> but, uh, I want to introduce everybody, the new member to the family here. This is Leia, but I like to call her Lele, because she sounds like a Lele, right? Yeah. Let's just listen to her. No. <laughs> now she doesn't want to breathe. She's like looking at the mic like, what the hell? I know, right? Say, like, what is this? Yeah. This is not even member, though. Oh, I, like, it was weird because, like, I just, I was all tired. And everyone was like, oh, I got a surprise for you. I was like, what is it? Can I eat it? And she's like, kind of. <laughs> so then like I go in and then like I see the dog and then I was like what's this she's like oh this is our new dog and I was like oh okay that's cool I guess we got a new dog yay <laughs> and then like uh, and, and then for like three days we couldn't name it cause we were like fuck I, like, I don't know I don't know what to name it I, I was coming up with some like crazy names like I was thinking about like Miku or Ram or like some weird ass names. I don't know. I was just thinking about random names. <laughs> I even thought about naming a fucking Domo. You know, like that, like this character, Domo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was like, what about Domo? But she was like, no. So then like, I was just thinking like, I don't know. I was like, ah. Uh. I was like, why don't we just name her Leia? Because like, I saw like the fucking puzzle piece. Uh, a friend of like a, she got like a puzzle pieces. The ones that have, like, you know, the ones that she's been doing. Yeah. She got a Star Wars one. And I was like, why don't we just call her Leia? And we'll call her Leila as for, like, a nickname. And then she was like, okay, we'll do that. I was like, all right, we're doing it. We're doing Lele. And then that's how Lele happened. How <laughs> my Lele. Oh, my Lele. Look at her. She's such a pretty puppy. I, I literally woke her up so she could be in the podcast. Because we, we, we didn't get back. It's like literally midnight right Yeah. Now. We got back like at 11.30 at night. It is midnight. I am tired. I, I literally got off of work at 8 o'clock in the morning today. I went to sleep like around, what, like 9.30? Yeah, because when I left, I'm still staying at Brenda's house, guys. Like, you know. Um, they took me in, so, like, my bed's here, so I was, like, I was sleeping on the couch for a little bit, and I was, like, fuck this, I need to go to the bed, so, I'm still here, uh, I should be going back home tomorrow, but, uh, yeah, like, yeah. when I left, as long as you need, man. oh, yeah, yeah, no, for sure, man, but, like, when I left, I think I left at 6.30 in the morning, because I had to get my stuff ready, because we are gonna go, you know, somewhere down the hill, and, yeah, dude, like, it's 6.30, you, I think you got home, like, at about, what, 8.30, 8.40, give or take? Yeah. Yeah. Just about. That's crazy. What time did you wake up? <clears throat> at, like, 12. Damn, so you got, like, maybe, like, three hours sleep, if that. Yeah, because I, I went, as soon as I got home, I just went straight to the shower, and then I just, like, try to go to sleep from there. <clears throat> like, all right, I got it. I'm going to go to sleep from right here. And I fucking passed out, and everybody was like, all right, we gotta get ready, we gotta go. I was like, oh, shit, all right, let's go. <laughs> Damn. Well, me and you were in the same boat, because I haven't slept, and I've been up since 6, no. I woke up at 6.15 here in the morning, and I didn't leave till 6.30, because I was getting my stuff ready. Yeah. So, 6.15, I've been up since 6.15 in the morning, and I went to bed at midnight last night. Damn. Yeah, so I only slept, like, I mean, you know, a normal person is supposed to sleep eight hours, but I only sleep between six Dude, five I and six. I don't hours. even sleep at all, man. I don't even know what sleep is anymore. Right? Uh, it, yeah. It's like that sometimes, man. You just fucking know, Especially with my schedule, you know? man. Like, you know, you see me like, in the morning and at night. And, 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 and that shit kind of fucks me up. 
life a little bit. Yeah, it throws your like sleep schedule off, yeah. man. Yeah, my equilibrium is like out of control. Oh yeah, for sure. I know. How I that don't goes. even know if that's even the right term for saying that. So guys, like we just you know we didn't do one last week and we haven't done one in the past couple yeah of weeks. We're staying extra late so we can do this podcast. Yeah, I th- there's literally midnight right now. We're this this late. was done in the process. Like we're we're like debating. We're like fuck. It, we're gonna do a. <clears throat> we're just gonna fucking go balls out and do a fucking late night special. So that's what we're doing today, guys. Late night special. Yup. And it's almost Valentine's Day. I don't know. You know what? Actually, uh, yeah, we're, I was talking to Jonah about this when we were down the hill. For all the audience, Jonah's my uncle on my mom's side. Um, well, he fucking got his... Wait, can you also say what his address is, too, in his uh, social security? No, I'm not going that far. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was like... <laughs> You're already going into details, might as well. Right? Yeah, you know, I just want them to, you know, I don't want them to be like, who the fuck is Jonah, you know? Yeah, right. But, um, anyway, he, he bought his wife a Valentine's Day card. Yeah. And I'm like, they're always giving me shit about, like, every time I'm, I'm in a relationship, they're always giving me shit about how, like, you know, like, I'm whipped. And I'm, and I'm giving him shit about him being whipped because he bought her a card, right? You know, I'm just talking shit. And then he's like, well, what's Valentine really about, Valentine's Day? He's like, is it money or is it? about love he's like because love shouldn't require money i'm like well sometimes it's a little bit of both you know well, sometimes actually, money can buy you love valentine's day <clears throat> like, I, from what i remember i think it has to do something with about, friendship doesn't it or some n- shit like that <laughs> no uh it has to do with something with like uh like men I think like dehumanizing women or some shit like that. Like and like that's how they picked their like mate and shit like that. I don't know. It was weird. Like the actual meaning of it? Like the old thing yeah, something like that. Like I remember <sighs> it, it was something really crazy. Fucking I remember, crazy, dude. I, I remember it being something really weird and then, But this was like a while ago that I seen this, but I don't know if this was true. I didn't do any background <laughs> research or anything. This is from what I've seen like a long time ago. And it has to do with like something like with that. And I was like, wow, well, Valentine's Day is pretty fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Everything nowadays is fucked up. It, yeah, that's true. And like, you know what I don't understand too? Like about like all these holidays and stuff like that. Like, you know, like how uh, Jesus' birthday is like fucking uh, Christmas or something like that, right? Like, yeah, but it is, isn't it? Isn't wasn't his birthday? Like so, they don't they don't know exactly when he was born. They know he was born in December, from what I have understood. But I mean, you know what the cra- the whole crazy thing is about that really is like, you know, we take it as a day of you know presents and things like that and hanging out with family. Yeah, yeah, family is important when it comes to religion, but at the same time, it's like. People step away from what it's really about, you know? I mean, and that goes for almost any holiday, dude. Like, you know, like, let's say, like, 4th of July, right? Like, you know, people are like, oh, we're going to get drunk, we're going to barbecue, we're going to pop fireworks, but... But that's, like, everybody, though. Like, oh, yeah. Or any kind of celebration, everybody's going to be like, oh, yeah, we're just going to get drunk. (laughs) Yeah, dude, but honestly, like... That's everybody's day to day. Like, now that I've been sober... And every time I see somebody drunk, like, it makes me mad. Because I'm just like, man, did I act that stupid when I was drunk? Like, fuck, was I really that bad? Like, you know, I, I feel just, like saying sorry I almost. I kind of already just, like, accepted it. Like, I already know I act really fucking dumb when I drink. Oh, I mean, but you never really drank in front of me, see? And I drank a shitload yeah. of times in front of you guys. And you guys knew how stupid I used to get. Yeah. I seen you naked, man. Ah, oh, you see me naked when I got back home from the hospital when I had a shower and I needed help. <laughs> that, <too. laughs> that is true. <laughs> yeah, dude, but like, it, it's like, like, oh, all right, for instance, like today at the family party, right? Like, when my uncle wanted somebody to go with him to fucking Costco to go get alcohol, like, I want to go get a plate of food and then I want to go get a soda and then I open up the cooler and then there's a shitload of beer in there and then there's liquor. It's like, why the fuck do you need more alcohol? It's a six-year-old's birthday. You don't need a fucking alcohol. Like, seriously, you got some right there. You can have that shit. Yeah, that was, like, a lot. 
Yeah, there was more fucking. I swear to God, I just drank the fucking monster. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, like, I'm not saying that everybody at the party was drinking, but like, I'm just saying it's like you know we're gonna stick to one thing. We're gonna stick to one thing only. Like you know, like it just. And and I was thinking that's a general consensus for us Hispanics, like a birthday party, like there's always alcohol no matter what. The baby could be being baptized, and there'll be alcohol there on a religious occasion. <laughs> yeah, that's true. No, like everything. <clears throat> like, oh my god, my baby just lost her first tooth. Let's get fucked up, bro. Funerals, <laughs> Mexican funerals. I swear, I shit you not. Sometimes there's alcohol at those those events. Like, after a funeral, when the family gets together, yeah, yeah, they drink, bro. Yeah, I believe it. I believe it, man. I don't think I've seen my, our family personally do it, but um, uh, I have seen it before. So, it's like, yeah. We're at a funeral? After a funeral, like, the get-together. You know, uh, am, <clears throat> am I in my funeral, like, on my tombstone? I wanted to say uh, I told you I was sick on my tombstone. Wow. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, I could see that. I could see that. Wouldn't that be great? Uh, I mean, everybody's got their own catch line. <laughs> Dude, I think you'd be fucking genius, man. All right. So, um, what do you think about, like, what do you think about like like people like saying like you know like like happy birthday or you know when they have a a holiday like let's say for Memorial Day right like when people like when when you go to like a retail store and some motherfucker just comes up to you and is like oh happy Memorial Day without realizing what the fuck Memorial Day actually is Memorial Day is actually a day to remember the fallen heroes of the military United States military. All right, that's not something you should be celebrating, by any means. Like you shouldn't be out there saying Happy Memorial Day. Like, dude, it makes me so fucking mad every time I walk into a store. Yeah. And somebody says Happy Memorial Day. Like, no, motherfucker. Like, this is a day to remember the dead. Come on, like, bro. Like this month, like it isn't this month Black History Month. Like, oh, Happy Black History Month. Like going into a store. Yeah, just bro. But look. All right. Okay. But so like, look. <laughs> black people. I'm not. I'm not being racist. Walking, <laughs> walking into like a Lululemon, like Happy Black History Month. Right. But <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> to, be, to be honest, when have you ever heard a Hispanic say, "Oh, Happy Caesar Chavez Day"? Caesar Chavez. Okay. Yeah. They they could shit their giggles and be happy all they want about Black History Month. That's cool. Granted, that's their their First Amendment right. You know, they can exercise that. Yeah. That's cool. It doesn't bother me. But when the fuck have you ever heard us say, oh, happy Caesar Chavez Day? I know, right? Like, we're, I'm not being racist or anything. I'm just saying, like... Happy <sighs> Chavala Ocho's Day. Oh, that'd be fucking dope. <laughs> right? That'd be dope like, as they fuck. They should give him a day, at least. Come on, man. He's no fucking... He's the fucking greatest, dude. He's Come on, bro. Comedy legend. Right? Or like, what is it? The, what's his name? C.P. Heen? What was the other ones that he does? Chapulin? Chapulin, yeah. There you go. Yeah, Chapulin. Chapulin is a shit. All right, hold on. I gotta, I gotta put her away because she is to pass her bedtime. She wants to go to sleep. Look, she's, she's getting great. Hold on. We're gonna have to jump cut. All right, anyway, back. <laughs> it was like short commercial break. I know, right? Not even a short commercial break. It's like how it's just gonna be. It's just like they're gonna see me like this, and then also they're gonna see me like this. Like, Dude, like, are you watching? The Super, are you watching the Super Bowl today? No. I'm wait, not, I, wait, who who is in the Super Bowl? Rams and uh, Bengals. Wait, who? The L.A. Rams and the Cincinnati Bengals. Bengals. Mm -hmm. I think Bengals? they're from Cincinnati. I don't, <laughs> okay. Well, I, I don't know, bro. Don't to know, me, man. it's like it happens every fucking year, and then I like the commercials. Yeah, that's, that's thing. Yeah, that's the and only the halftime show. That's the only, like only really reason I watch it is uh, is the commercials because the commercials are pretty cool. Some of, the, bro, <laughs> some of them are pretty fucking crazy. This year is gonna be like like a free like Dr. Dre concert, Snoop Dogg, and Eminem. Like you don't gotta pay for that shit. It's gonna be on TV, you know. Yeah, I saw that. It's big. It's gonna. That's be gonna be dope. fucking good. Yeah, dude. Uh. I remember, like, a while ago, I don't remember, 
but it was like a milk commercial. Have you ever seen that milk commercial where it was like, like the mom was telling the kids like, you should drink my milk. It's good for your bones. And then like the kid was telling like his mom like, well, Mr. Jenkins from across the street never drank milk. And he looks fine. And everybody's looking at him like, he was like, hey, kids. And they're like, hey. And he's like grabbing like a fucking a wheelbarrow. And he pulls it up and his arms like fall off. And he was like, well, that's not good. <laughs> and the kids, <laughs> like they all start screaming. And even the fucking mom. And then they're all drinking the milk. Like one's drinking like out of the cup. One's drinking out of the carton. <laughs> I fucking, I like the Doritos ones. The, the Dorito commercials that they come out with. Hey, the Dorito ones? Fucking hilarious, dude. Yeah, they, they get some creative ones, man. I feel like I always wanted to make my own like commercials like that and stuff like that like i wanted to do stuff like that like i wanted to make like a an anti-drug commercial you know what they need they need another fucking state farm commercial bro like another jake from state farm jake jake from state farm there's only fucking two that came out two they only made two of those they need to make a third wait didn't they change him because wasn't he a different guy before i think it's a chick now i don't think it's a guy anymore uh, so they can just change who Jake is? Fucking cancel culture, dude. Well, I'm telling you, like... <laughs> it's a cancel culture. I'm fucking serious. They cancel like, everything. I don't like this Jake. Let's change this Jake. I'll like, bro, why Jake. the fuck would you change Aunt Jemima? Oh, yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, like, Aunt Jemima was around for years. Like, what the fuck, dude? Because, suppose... Like, I don't want to get into this. No. It's, it's a lot of bullshit. It's like, dumb. Like pretty soon but, like, it, don't you, wouldn't it be, like, celebrating her because <clears throat> you're, like, honoring her <clears throat> for making this? Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's only safe that, to assume, right? Isn't what that, I don't know, man. You know what? Cancel culture, man. They're going for the wrong people. They need to, they need to go for, like, the higher-ups, like the IRS and shit like that, man. Like, I'm pretty sure it's safe to assume they're going to fucking cancel... Abuelita on um, off the face of the fucking hot chocolate. No, they already bar. did. They did? Yeah. She's not under no more. Oh, that's fucking stupid. Yeah. Abuelita hot chocolate. They don't have her no on there. Oh, that's no fucking more. retarded. They, they took her off. I think they like renamed it too. Why? Because they said it was too offensive. You know what's funny? It's like, uh, it's offensive to them but when they go to the actual culture that it's supposed to be offended to they're, they're like it, it's whatever we don't care <laughs> like, like what is that like and it's only the younger generation that get offended I feel by. like this is like a way of like how do you say like crowd controlling like the government trying to control them? Yeah, like I feel like this is like a whole experiment on people just to see like how they would respond on different types of like. Yeah, reasons. bro. But if you look at our generation, like we had fucking dude, the movies we had. Okay, think about it. We had disaster movie, scary movie, fucking Project X, The Hangover, fucking all the stupid movies that that we used to love and laugh at. Yeah, we had all that shit in it. And then you look at this generation now, bro, and it's just like, what the fuck happened? You know, like, we used to laugh at stupid shit. Yeah, that's true. Like, Step Brothers. Step Brothers has so much offensive like shit, dude. Kung Pao. <laughs> uh, that too. I fucking love that movie still. I don't care. What, Kung Fury? You know what's fucking crazy? Talk about stupid shit, like how people get... Okay, so, like, uh, like how TikTok works. And, like, I found out about this shit, like, not so long ago. Yeah. And I was like... Because I always thought it was, like, fucking dumb. Because, like, how are these people, like, doing these stupid shit on TikTok, like, getting rewarded for doing these really stupid shit? And, then like, did you know in China what they're, how, who are the people they are rewarding in China is? Like, the, how the algorithm works in China? It's way different than it is over here in the United States. Well, think about it. China filters the shit that they even let out because they're still, even though they're not communist. No, no, look, wait, know? hold on. I'm trying to get to this point, though. Like, listen to this, right? Wait, watch. So in China, their algorithm for TikTok, 
they reward people for doing like fucking like science projects and fucking experience and fucking uh, visual effects, like different fucking crazy like like things that will help people like better themselves, like to improve and create, be more creative, right? Right. But the algorithm in the United States, since it's a Chinese app they change the algorithm to where people are getting rewarded for doing stupid shit like twerking and like stealing shit from fucking other people. Right? Like, have you noticed that? Like, that is completely different because the Chinese algorithm is way better because like, you'll come up with, they'll come up with like crazy as like CGI effect fucking movie like clips. But yeah, just, but if you look at the dynamics of our, like, entertainment life here in the U.S. versus China, China is a very productive country. doesn't matter what way you look at it, whether it be education, work, uh, lifestyle, everything. Everything uh, from their way of life. And us, dude, like, over here, kids are just fucking, like, encouraged to do stupid shit, number one, because nobody gives a shit anymore about them. Two, um, parents aren't even getting involved in kids' lives anymore like how they should. Like how our parents were with us. Like, you know, fucking, like, constantly on us. Like, instead of letting us play games all fucking day. Like, hey, go outside and play with your friends or do something, you know? Yeah. Kids don't anymore, dude. They just want to be on their fucking phones. They just want to play video games, you know? They don't want to listen to nobody. And it's just like, alright, like, we're going to... Our generation here in the U.S., the next generation... It's gonna be so fucking stupid, dude. They're not gonna know how to. They're not gonna know the left from the right. <laughs> I'm just saying, like that's the way it's shaping up. They're like make a left, dude. They turn right. <laughs> they make a right. <laughs> they turn right. <laughs> <laughs> make a left. You know what's funny though? Like it, it, it is getting like that already. Cause like I'm. Oh my god! All right, so this actually happened. Uh, I went to a store, and like. Uh, the girl was on the phone and then she was <clears> like uh uh she was walking and she like I don't know who she was talking but she was talking to someone she was, and they were like yeah it's on the left side and she was like I'm looking on the left side but she's like walking forward but she keeps on looking on the right and she's like I don't see it I'm looking on the left side but she's looking on the right side fucking dumb and what like telling and you? like I was just looking and I was just like like, okay, maybe I was thinking, like, maybe she came from that side coming in, right? And then, no. So, she goes to the next aisle, and she's looking onto the right side again. And she just keeps on walking. And not look at the left side. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, my God. Or you can, look, People, you can either ask somebody that works at the store, or if you're at a store that you know has an app, and you just type in your location... It'll fucking tell you where aisle it's on. Yeah. It'll give you a location of where it's at on the aisle. Like, I don't know how people don't realize that shit. Like, oh my god, dude. Like, when I used to, when I used to work at Lowe's, right? Yeah. And I used to sell appliances. People would ask me certain things like, oh, you know, how does this function work on my, on my stove? Or, you know, where can I get a part if something's missing? And it's like, Read your fucking instruction manual. That's why it comes with it. The instruction manual? I'm serious, dude. And they're like, well, there's different models. How do I know which one's mine? Well, motherfucker, here, I'll show you where your model number is. Look at it, and then you could fucking search it up on your manual. Like, it's that easy. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, some people just don't know, man. They no, they just know. want everything done for them. That's exactly what it is. And, you know, at the time, I didn't have a problem with that. But... At some point in time, people didn't get tired of it. Sense. Yeah, the same dude. questions over and over. I shit you not, it was the same questions over and over. Yeah, That's no matter was... how many times you would explain it, they'd always want a different explanation. Yeah, that's how it was for me. Is when I was working security, like people would come up to me and they were like, it, "The number one question was, where's the restroom?" And oh like one God. time, there's these couple came up to me and they're like, "Excuse me," I was like, "Hold on." Before you say anything, the restroom's right over there. 
they're like, oh, thank you. And they, <laughs> <laughs> they went over there to the fucking restroom. <laughs> I was like, I just stopped them. Dude, like, oh my God. Like, and it worked in security out there. Like, I always had, like, weird conversations out there with the people. Like, I remember this one guy was telling me, like, his whole life story and, like, how his wife was cheating on him. And, like, he started crying. And I was just like, how do I get out of here? <laughs> like, what the fuck? How do I get out of this fucking conversation? And I was trying to call my supervisor. And, then, like, my supervisor got caught up in the whole, like, conversation with him. And he started crying in front of both of us. And I was like, what do I do? Like, <laughs> what do I do, man? Do we, how do we get out of this situation? <laughs> <laughs> it was weird, man. Uh, but uh, anyways, man. How was, uh... How has the last two weeks been going for you, man? I, I've been fucking working, so I have no idea what's been going on. How's your room coming along? It's coming, dude. Like, you know, I'm doing little things here and there, helping my dad with the floor and shit. Um, my room should be done tomorrow. I should be moving in again tomorrow. Um, but, you know, he's been having me do things here and there with the floor. Not too, too many heavy things, you know, just things yeah. that I can do. Just and quick, simple shit. Yeah, but I think, like, I've been trying to go back to work, and I can't because my doctor won't let me. He's just like, well, you know, if I let you go to work, and, you know, you do this and that, and you pass out, like, it's kind of my fault, like a liability thing, you know? So I was like, all right, whatever. I guess another two weeks ain't too bad, you know? But I'm kind of getting tired of being home. So, like, you know, I've been taking drives and whatnot, like, yeah, you know? But, um... We've been doing that, and then, you know, I'll play Xbox here and there once in a while, and then... You're gonna let me drive your car to work one day? One day? Yeah, one day, once... One day? Once that's is, it. Once is ready, so You one get day. once in a lifetime, that's it. <laughs> one day, one day. I gotta go pick up the other car. But it's it's already... It's it's, a, it's at my buddy's house. He's been doing some work to it, so... Oh, uh, okay, okay. Supposedly, it's ready. Whoa. Oh, hey, man... So, I want to talk about this whole fucking thing, because, like, I heard about this. I don't know if you heard about this, but, uh, you know, everybody's favorite joker, I guess he's in trouble, man. You know who I'm talking about? George Lopez? Did you say George Lopez? (laughs) Oh, you mean the actual joker, bro, from fucking Batman. (laughs) You said George Lopez? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> no, cause I read some shit online the other day that George Lopez got got into some beef with somebody, and somebody was trying to shut his mouth. One of the rappers. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you said America's favorite Joker? I was like George Lopez. <laughs> oh, Kevin Hart. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have been more clear. <laughs> I should have been more clear about that. <laughs> you gotta warn me, man. Yes, love <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> well, fucking warn me next time. <laughs> I don't know we're going to talk about that. Uh, you should have said what's okay. Joker. It's okay. I'm talking about Jared Leto. Late. Jared Leto. So, okay. So, there's this beef going on between Jared Leto and uh, James Gunn. Do you know who James Gunn is? The guy that, that did the Suicide Squad movie. The director? or his, Yeah, his second... the director. Yeah. The one that's doing the, uh, the Peacemaker show. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. He's calling him out on, on Jared Leto. Saying that he's a he's a pedo. The fuck is that? A pedo? Yeah, what's a pedo? Oh, a pedophile. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Well, but why? Like, well, like, what's the reason for it? Well, so apparently, a bunch of people have been like confirming that yeah, this is true. Uh, like this is what this is what he said. Well, this guy said this. That Jared Leto is now uh, sliding into the DMs of, like, female models between ages 18 and 25. But then, apparently, that, uh, 
So it's like, been getting younger girls than usual. See, look at the, there's some fucking so like, some notes right here. What this is? So like underage models? Yeah. Like, oh, see what the hell, dude? Yeah, Did you read it? Oh, uh, let me read the bottom. Hold on, I read the top. the The actual shirt. Before I knew all this, I was a fan of him. I'm in a rage and I snapped him once. I snapped him once and he sent me a dick pic and I'm still so still so disgusted. Sorry guys, I just took off my glasses all. My eyes are trying to adjust but I'm trying to read at the same time. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. What? Yeah. This, this is a lot, man. Dude, this is going to be the new freaking Bill Cosby. It's going to be, man. Oh, uh, wait, don't, don't change that one. Go back. Which one? This one? You want to, you yeah, want to this one? yeah let me read this one. When I was in high school, Jared Leto used to walk through the meadow in Central Park trying to get noticed by teenage girls. What the freak, man? Yeah. Dude. Since the discussion of sexual abuses in the entertainment industry is important, I'd like to remind everyone that I witnessed Jared Leto invite an underage girl on his bus. Dang, dude. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of fucking crazy shit. Like, there's this one thing where he was telling the that they were talking about that uh, bro, he, he was getting a lap dance from a from a stripper, and like his brother was like right next to him, like right here, watch. So it says Jared sat down, watched Vicky lap dance his brother for ten minutes, and she claimed that he, uh, like pretty much, I guess he got up. And started choking her what? while he was oh. giving her a lap dance. Dang. Yeah. He, he's been doing some fucking crazy shit, man. Hey, but you know what, though? This isn't the only dude that's gone away with shit like this. Or, you know, things like this. Yeah. Because anybody with money in Hollywood, or anybody that has money in America, gets away with things like this, bro. They do. Like, it's yeah. crazy what money does in this country. Yeah, no. Yeah, I know. Like, did you hear about the Dodger? The dude that, that, um, that place for the Dodgers that this girl said that he raped her and he forced her, but he admitted, and there's even text saying, you know, like, her sending him dirty crap on his phone, right? Yeah. But he didn't rape the girl, but they had rough sex, right? And she tried to twist it on him, but th even though there's proof that it wasn't like how she says it was. But it's funny how, you know, like, let's say like some guy like Jerry Little, nobody looks twice, but a Dodger does it and some of the fans don't even want him back on the team. Yeah, it I, I feels like it, it depending on the person, like, if they're not attractive enough. Yeah, but I mean, you gotta they be fair can, to everybody. They, if like, they're more attractive, they can get away with anything. But if they're not, <clears throat> they're disgusting. <laughs> Think about it. Look, look. Like, remember how this one guy, I guess he he went to jail for some shit. And, like, there was a bunch of girls who were trying to bail him out because he was too cute to go to jail. <laughs> who? You don't remember that shit? Mm -mm. Yeah, there was, like, a whole part petition like to bail this guy out because he was too good looking to be in jail like bro look at look at kanye stalking kim right yeah with pete davidson and this guy's dressed as a bush bro that's harassment. <laughs> a fucking bush man <laughs> <laughs> he looked he looked like, like an og nug running like through, the, fucking, through the road <laughs> character from fortnite man fucking hiding as a bush and shit <laughs> But that's what I'm saying. Like he gets away with things like that, bro. And, and a regular person that does that gets arrested. Come on, like you know. Yeah, that's true. You gotta be fair. Life. Hey, you know how they say how life isn't fair. Yeah. For anybody, wouldn't that make life fair? Yeah, in a way. Because it's not fair. Fair to, to anybody, anybody, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, guess what, life, sir. All right, dude. I want to let's change up the story, man. I want to talk about this fucking talking. Have you been hearing about these fucking crows that are starting to talk now? No. Dude, there's fucking crows. 
are like they're supposedly like crows nowadays are like in their fucking stone age or some shit like that to where the point where like they're getting really smart and they're talking the only thing they're doing is shitting on my car those aren't crows man those are crows those are seagulls no those are crows no those aren't crows or maybe they're doing it on purpose man what'd you do to them I have no clue, bro. You know what though? I was thinking too, like, you know, with the whole COVID thing. Now that we, now that I've had COVID, I was thinking like, so all these people are dying, right? And it's like, it makes me wonder, like, how possible is a zombie apocalypse? I feel like it's coming pretty soon, man. I don't feel like we uh, could do you, full on zombies, but we, but will we you could be get ready. Close. Will you be ready for Not this? even close, dude. Hell no. I wouldn't even know where to start with the zombie. You don't have enough ammo? Yeah, but I mean, that's not... I mean... That's not the point. Not to be ready for a zombie apocalypse. Like, you know, you still have to gather food. And you gotta find a hideout. And you gotta do all this shit. Like, The Walking Dead is so inaccurate, dude. Like, it's just like... I'm, it's not even real. Like, it's not even logical. Yeah. You know? Like, Rick is not going to go out there and merc 50 zombies with a fucking six-round revolver. Hey, man. He's a fast reloader. I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> you know, like, I've been watching these YouTubers, right? These guys, most of these guys are veterans. And they talk about, like, realistic gunplay movies. And if you look at the first John Wick, when he gets into that shootout where he's in the Suburban. Like, this guy goes through, like, fucking over 50 rounds, dude. And he only has a 30-round mag. And he doesn't do one fucking reload. And I started to think about it. I'm like, yeah. You know, you think about all this shit and you want to make it realistic. Like, you can't just shoot a bunch of motherfuckers and not reload. Yeah. You know? But it looks cool. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It looks cool. I'm not going to lie. But, I mean, if there's a zombie apocalypse and you're out there fucking with a six-round revolver, you're going to have to reload it sometime. And you you're just out there shooting for like two days straight. Just, ah. I'm telling you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> fucking nonstop. Negan is a badass, though, with, his, with Lucille. You know who Lucille is? Wait, you talking about The Walking Dead? Yeah. I couldn't get into that show, man. What the hell? I couldn't get into it. Okay. I don't know, man. It was, it was okay. But, like, I don't know. I couldn't get into it. Like, I, and I like zombie shit like that. Dude, I've been watching this other zombie show. It's called uh, All of Us Are Dead. It's on Netflix. That shit's fucking crazy, man. I gotta watch that. It's called All of Us Are Dead. That one is fucking crazy. There's a lot of fucked up things that happen in that, man. But like, it makes me think, like, everything now, like, how long before everything goes to crap again? You know, like, like, uh, well, like, like, if you like think a about crisis, it, like, how long, know? like, uh, fucking Canada, like, how many times has there been a lockdown out there? Like, I remember Canada's been locking down, like, so many damn times already. Like, I remember one of my friends was like, yeah, we just got out of a lockdown. And then, like, a couple of weeks later, they're like, yep, there's another one. <laughs> well, it's because people, like, blow it out of proportion, and they don't listen to it. They just try to go out in big numbers, and, you know, it's like... Yeah. They just don't take the precautions. They just don't care about the environment. I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's crazy, because, like, you know, how long is it before we're due for, like, another crisis? Like, remember um, the recession when it hit, like, in early, no, like, late 08? Yeah, yeah. How everybody was dead broke, losing their houses and everything? Like, how yeah, long before sucked. something happens again? Like, I'm not talking about just a recession, but, like, just anything in general, you know? COVID in itself is a crisis, you know, but they don't recognize it as that. Yeah, no, and it, like, I feel like it is, like, it's fucking evolving and shit, like... <laughs> Now, there's, like, a new <clears throat> strain of fucking COVID now. Well, bro, when they said the Omicron wasn't deadly, and all of a sudden, after the holiday season, it's killing people. It's like, okay, so what is it? Is it deadly? Is it not deadly? Like, do you guys not know what the hell you're talking about? I feel like they don't know what they're talking about. They're just fucking making up shit so we can just stay calm and listen to what they have to say. Well, yeah, and that's true, man, because even my doctor said that. My doctor told my dad that, like, hey, like, you know. They don't, really don't realize how deadly this is. This isn't just a cold or a flu. It's yeah, like a flu on steroids, but worse, you know? It's all crack, dude. 
it's just weird, dude. Like, and it and then it affects your body like hella. Like, you know, you see me at the party all time. Yeah, I'll try not to sleep because I'm just. I get tired, dude. Like I just and get I'm looking tired. at you, it would make me all tired too, because I was tired, because <laughs> I didn't sleep at all. I was like, oh, fuck, hey, let's go cut it in the car. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to sleep, dude. I was tired, like. Oh, you look tired, man. I'm still tired right now, dude. I mean, we're fucking, we're still up. It's been, it's already one o'clock. Fuck, <laughs> one o'clock already, man. Fuck. But yeah, man, we we we're staying strong. You look tired as shit, though, man. I'm fighting it right now. You're fighting it. <laughs> I'm fighting it. I'm, I'm not going to sleep yet. I swear I'm not. By the end of this fucking podcast, you're going to be like this. Ah, right. <laughs> well, I was watching the South Park video, or the South Park episode this morning. About the planking. Oh, the planking one? <laughs> yeah, well, he, he's like, what, what's it called? The fang? Yeah. Where you're like, it's like, you're like they have boobs. I love so quick, man. <laughs> they had like the best fucking jokes. I remember like the stuff that they came up with, like they would, the the show, like they would do it within a week and shit, like an episode. I, I like Old School Family Guy. The first couple of episodes, that was funny. The old school one. Yeah, <laughs> remember like the Family Guy that used to come out on uh, Comedy Central, like at midnight, and then it would be South Park. After that, and then after that, it'd be like yeah. Futurama. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they don't do that no more. Yeah, shit happens, dude. Or, or uh, Tosh.0. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. I fucking love Tosh.0. Tosh.0 was fun. I wanted to be in the show, man, but I never got into it because, <coughs> uh, I don't know, <coughs> my video wasn't humping enough. Oh, the humpers? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude, I want to talk about this fucking... <laughs> All right, so this is uh, they're trying to cancel the zoo. They're trying to cancel a zoo with the whole cancel culture, man. They're trying to cancel a zoo. A zoo? Yeah, a zoo. For dolphins humping somebody or what? The what? For dolphins humping somebody or <laughs> what? Dolphins humping? No, but they do do that, man. Oh my god, my back is killing me. No, but they do do that. They're fucking dolphins, man. They like you know dolphins. tank humps legs now. Ah, uh, great. Yeah. So if you, when you guys go over, be careful with your legs. He humps legs. <laughs> I said, man, I get the fuck off that. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. All right, so they're canceling this fucking zoo because they named one of the walruses. Just guess what they named him. Aunt Jemima. No. <clears throat> they named one of the fucking walruses <laughs> Lizzo. You know, like the fucking rapper, the girl. That girl. There's a girl named Lizzo, a rapper? Yeah. That's her. And her name, one of the walrus is her. That's the walrus. <laughs> oh, because the walrus is big. And that's her. And what now the they're trying to cancel the zoo because they named her after <laughs> a fucking walrus. So she got mad or what? Yeah. No. Fan, her fans got mad. Oh, bro, her name is might not be trademarked is the thing. <laughs> right? <laughs> what the hell? Why would you get mad? Like, I don't know, dude. Hey, yo, have you seen Lizzo? The walrus? No, for the rapper. The rapper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, man. Fuck the rapper. Let's talk about the walrus. That walrus right? is this fucking dope, fool. I'd rather pay to go see the walrus than the fucking rapper. I know, seriously. Like, <laughs> I'd have more fun at the zoo than at a concert. That fucking walrus, dude. Oh, dude, this is the fucking video that I wanted to show you about the girl talking, man. How you it's doing? Like, cause look at it. This shit's fucking crazy, dude. Like, <clears throat> watch. Watch this shit. Like, when I saw this... I was like, what the fuck? It actually sounds like pretty <coughs> fluent. But listen to this shit. Are you stuck in the blizzard? Say hello. Say hello. Hey, hello. 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 Dude, that's Are you the stuck in the basement because it's so much snow, huh? How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? Pretty cold, buddy. How are you? How are you? I'm cold. 
Are you happy to be up? Are you happy to be up? I know, right? A lot of snow. I know. I know. I know, right? Hey. I know, right? I know, right? I know. Are you sure that's a crow? That's a crow, man. Try that one. The talking raven. The talking raven? <clears throat> Where's he going to be talking? Looking at fucking... Good, You're right. <clears throat> Is he gonna talk? Is You're his right. jaw like fucking crooked or something? Looks like it. No, he's not gonna talk. Talk to you. You haven't brought me no food. <clears throat> no. Is he gonna talk? You're all right, man. Whoa, what the fuck? Right, what did he say? Right. Did he say, "Are you?" You know what I always wonder? Like, why is it that, like, birds are the only ones that are, like, the closest thing to actually sound, like, with a human voice? Because they have vocal cords. And, like, if you look at, like, dogs and cats. They don't they, have the same type of vocal cords or something? No, they don't. They're more, like, they're more keen to, like, a certain kind of sense. And then these guys can actually, like, certain species, not all of them, but certain species can... Try and pick up vocalization. So you're saying that bird brain, like when someone calls you a bird brain, it's a compliment? Because mm, birds not, are actually not all. smarter? When they refer to that, they refer to like dodo birds. Dodo birds were dodo actually birds. pretty fucking smart though. They think that they're dumb, but they're not. They are not dumb. Dude, birds are survivors. Those guys, like, they scrounge out for their food and whatnot, you know? Yeah. Do you, have you ever seen a fucking pelican eat a fucking uh, a seagull? Yeah, hell that yeah. It's fucking crazy, dude. I remember seeing that shit. I was like, whoa, shit. He just fucking ate ya. <laughs> like, fucking seagull. Like when we had Juice, um, like one time I was playing with Juice, right? And then he got all happy. And then he, he, he went up to me, tried to like snuggle against me. And then I shit you not, dude, my, it was quiet. It was me and my mom. And we're in the living room and he's all, Rawu. like he literally said my name. He went, Rawu, Rawu. Bro, yeah, bro, he said my name. He got all happy. Did I ever send you that video of the cats singing Raul? No, I don't think so. I heard it, I've heard it before though. The cats, yeah, were like, Raul, Raul. <laughs> but it's funny because, like, like you know, like animal senses, like the way they are, like. Can, I feel like it's, it's like nowadays, like we notice, like there's a lot of dogs now becoming like a little smart. Like they have the fucking buttons now, and they'll push a button what they want, and they'll know like what the button means and shit. Like I want to go outside, or like I'm sad, or I feel suicidal. <laughs> like, like the bro, man. look at look at Lele. Lele knows how to ride a skateboard. You know. Yeah, I know, and not even show her. I just wrote it and like threw it on the floor, and she just put her paw on it, and she was just like running already on it. I was like, "What the fuck? That's awesome!" All right, man. How about we just wrap this up, dude? Because you look tired. I am tired as well. I'm man. fucking falling. We asleep. are fucking falling asleep. Yeah. This was a pretty fun podcast <laughs> with the fucking walrus, man. <laughs> Lizzo, Lizzo the walrus. She looked like a fucking walrus, too, though. Uh, yeah. Do you want to just talk about this last story that I have? Yeah. It's about a girl. All right, hold on. You ready for this? Boom. All right. So, this girl is trying to sue the metaverse. Because apparently she got assaulted in the metaverse. And... Virtually groped. Yeah. <laughs> she got virtually groped. Is there a video the on this? No, there's no video. No. Is there videos of this happening? No, there's no videos. Not of her, no, her case? No, but... nobody. Nobody recorded it. But, yeah. So now she is, this girl is suing the fucking Facebook because <clears throat> she got virtually groped. Virtually groped 
and she didn't know how to stop it or like she didn't know how to, what to do and she was so scared she should have kicked him in his balls th- dude look at you want to <laughs> see how easy it was to, I'll show you how easy it is to fucking to get stop getting virtually groped look at how easy this shit is Yeah, you watching? Yeah. You still watching? Yeah. Dude. All right. All right, watch. This is a reenactment of the girl getting virtually groped, and I'm going to show her you how to prevent you from getting virtually groped. Oh, how are you doing, sir? Oh, that is actually my cleavage. Please do not touch my cleavage. Oh, now you are touching my no-no square. Please don't touch my no-no square. Oh no, I am being violated. I don't know what to do. Oh, I know what to do. <laughs> or just, yeah, exactly. Right? Turn that shit off. It's like, are you like, gonna stand there and fucking let him grope you? Like, come on. <laughs> Come on, man. And, and honestly, it's like... It's that fucking simple. Like, I'm like, like, just fucking take it off or just go on a fucking different game. Do something else. Don't just stay there. Don't fucking Yeah, but just think take about it. it, too. What kind of pervert takes the time to actually virtually grope somebody? And just take it? <laughs> right? Like, so stupid on both their parts. Like, why yeah. even go through all that? I know, right? I just fuck. I thought it was fucking stupid. All right, man. That that was my last game right here. Well, this was let's talk about it. Thank you, Raul, for coming out to the show. Uh, hopefully, I don't know. Maybe we'll do another one another day or something. Hell yeah. We all, we just gotta fucking. It's hard, man. You know, we get busy. But for tonight, it's a wrap. We're like. Oh well, yeah, oh, shit, we're done. We're tired. I am done. Uh, all right, man. All right. Peace. Later, guys.